Hey guys, Coach Joe here. And a little while ago, my friend Tyler and I did a video on what college baseball was like. And it got some really good feedback. And a lot of you guys were asking about some more videos kind of in the same vein. So we're gonna do a little video on high school baseball, especially since a lot of you guys are gonna be going into high school pretty soon. I've got working with a lot of older kids and we wanna give you guys kind of an idea of what to expect. So for me, high school baseball was an incredible experience. Had one of the most legendary coaches ever, Coach Bob Zamora, and I was uh, all CIF there. We were ranked number one in the county, um, ranked top in the country for a little bit. And uh, we're gonna get into you know what my experience is like, but also Tyler's experience. He was also an incredible player. So Tyler, jump in. What was high school baseball like for you? Uh, I remember going into freshman year, even though you you tend to know if you're talented or not, if you're going to make the team, you still kind of get nerves or like wonder if you're going to make the team. Mm -hmm. That's normal. But you also got to make sure that you relax and you remember that you got skill. And that's the main thing is you got to have confidence, play loose, but also be excited and play hard. And yeah, then after making the team, uh, you also got to realize sometimes there's politics and stuff involved. You may not be on the team that you feel mm -hmm. like you should be on right away but you know that's just a uh, fuel to play harder work harder and eventually get to where you want to be so you might not be on varsity right away even though you feel you deserve it but that's the uh, fuel to the fire to play harder i think yeah no todd that's you know really great point a perfect way to you know start talking about it because a lot of you guys are going in you have all these expectations and you're going to get to high school and it's like man these guys are good especially you see the varsity team you know these guys are incredible and they have hunger they're where they're at for a reason and i'll give you guys just an example like at my high school uh one of the top schools in the country for baseball we had a guy that didn't make varsity till his senior year and then he was by his senior year he was getting um, scholarship offers from usc so don't panic if you're not you know where you want to be right away sometimes it takes time to develop and to hone your skills and the, the coach's son at my high school actually um, didn't make varsity till junior year and his sophomore year he thought he should be on varsity and so the word is the legend is is that they're they weren't talking to each other the son and the coach at dinner there's a lot of you know conflict in the family he ended up pitching triple a and so he's you know almost you know basically a big league pitcher and he didn't make varsity till his last few years of high school so yeah guys don't panic about that at all and Todd what do you think about the the difference you know between you know, your frost soft team the JV team and the varsity team did you notice a huge difference or what do you think uh, I personally did not notice much of a difference going from freshman to JV I don't feel like there's much at all uh, maybe freshman a little bit worse just because mm -hmm. it's a little thinned out mm -hmm. but uh, going to varsity there's a lot more consistency, but that should also work in your favor if you uh, if you like hitting, so that you mm, actually have yeah, people throwing strikes. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, and that's the same thing with um, guys talking about moving up in professional baseball. Some hitters will actually enjoy the higher levels more because the pitchers are more accurate. They're filling up the zone, and you just you know, if you see the ball hit the ball, you don't have to think as much. So sometimes you know, freshman JV might get more balls, kind of erratic and it can be sometimes tougher. And so that's something to think about. And so tell me, Tyler, as we finish up, um, what were some of your best memories in high school playing baseball? And what kind of, I know you had an incredible career. What were some you know, records you set or some of the most you know, amazing successes you had? Well, my, I worked hard. I came back from a torn ligament my junior year, worked my butt off to get back to play, and I ended up hitting 465. I ended up uh, getting the doubles record, I think it was 22 or 23, and then uh, I also got, I tied the hits record, and I don't remember how many exactly, but I got, it was a lot of fun, and this, I think some of the best parts, despite the success of the game, some of the best parts are just the bus rides mm -hmm. and uh, hanging out, and of course when you win and you have success, it's a lot more fun, so you want to make sure you work hard, you want to make sure you uh, enjoy those bus rides and have a good time. Yeah, exactly. and. That's you know, a great point about enjoying the experience and it'll actually make you play a lot better if you take some of the stress off yourself and try to have fun while you're there, obviously focusing on the game, but you know, don't put so much pressure on yourself. A lot of kids will do that and it really hurts them you know, performance wise. And so my greatest experiences with high school probably 
going into my junior year, I was a nine hitter on the team. And then I ended up, by the end of the year, leadoff hitter batting 397, leading the team in hitting. So that just gives you an idea. You know, don't panic. You could start the year. The worst pitcher on the team, you can start the year. Batting last, you could start the year on freshman. And by the end of the year, you could be varsity. So keep at it, keep working hard, and you never know, you know, what can happen. All right, so if you have any questions, comment below, and I'll see you guys next time.